Now at first glance, this might be one of the most interesting, unique, and odd snakes you may have ever seen in your life. These animals are fully aquatic. They spend their entire lives underwater, and these tentacles actually aid them in their survival. Look at those tentacles there. Aren't those bizarre? This guy's really cute. Look at him. Look at that. Wow, wow, wow. My name is Jack, and I've spent the past few years traveling all over the globe to find some of nature's most unique and dangerous animals. My goal? To show the world that even the most bizarre or perhaps even deadly life forms on Earth deserve both our respect and our appreciation. Today's adventure takes us to the beautiful country of Thailand to search for one of the most bizarre snakes on Earth, the tentacle snake. These strange serpents live an aquatic lifestyle and have a few tricks up their sleeves to help in catching slippery prey. Let's learn more about the fantastic tentacle snake. Okay, everybody, welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now, I'm super excited. Uh, we have actually pulled this beautiful snake out of the water. Now, at first glance, this might be one of the most interesting, unique, and odd snakes you may have ever seen in your life. This right here is a tentacle snake. Now, where do you think they get that name? You might have guessed it. These lovely little tentacles here. Why might they have these? Well, as you can see, this animal's completely still. Seems like it doesn't really know what's going on. That's because it likely doesn't. These animals are fully aquatic. They spend their entire lives underwater, and these tentacles actually aid them in their survival. These animals are almost entirely piscivores, which means that they're gonna be feeding entirely on fish. So what they do is they use this kind of brown, twiggy-like body, and they stick those little tentacles out, and they wait for fish to swim by, and then they, boom, grab that fish, walk it up with the jaws, swallow it, and wait for another. These are amazing ambush hunters, and that is why it seems so out of place on land, because these animals are perfectly adapted to living underwater. Now, these aren't commonly seen. Once again, they're very cryptic, fully aquatic, and they live in pretty dark, murky water, uh, once again, to aid in that ambush lifestyle. Uh, but these are snakes, <laughs> despite uh, despite what they may look like. They just kind of look like a, an old banana or something. They're not really shaped right, um, but uh, they're really, really, really cool reptiles, and they're it's always so much fun to see animals that have filled such a special and specific niche uh, in the wild. Um, as you can see, that we're we're kind of in a in more of a canal type ecosystem. There's plenty of beautiful mosquitoes uh, that I'm sure you can see buzzing all around me. Uh, but these animals do great in in kind of murkier creeks or canal systems where they've got a whole uh, a whole slew of smaller fish and and things like that to uh, to hunt from their twiggy perches. But take a look at this animal. Look at those tentacles there. Aren't those bizarre? So cool. Have you ever seen a snake with tentacles? I don't think you have, unless you've seen one of these. <laughs> but these are just so awesome. We actually just got off our plane. Uh, we've been traveling for about 28 hours now. Uh, so I'm sure I seem a little groggy, a little uh, tired. Hopefully I'll perk up uh, as our trip goes on. Uh, but I just had to share this absolutely spectacular and unique animal with you all at home. These are just so wild. This is like the type of thing you just see at the zoo or maybe you read about in a book. Uh, they're just so, so weird. And take a look at that belly. Uh, you really don't see those kinds of thick and, and pronounced ventral scales that you see in other species of snakes. Once again, kind of shedding light to uh, the, the much different and fully aquatic lifestyle that these animals live. So weird. <laughs> is that not just so fantastic, folks? That is just one of the craziest looking snakes in the world. Now, 
Once again, these animals are kind of deceptive. Uh, you can see it's so slow moving, it's so placid right now, uh, but in the water, these are formidable predators. They're capable of striking quick enough to snatch even extremely fast fish. Uh, so even though it seems like uh, this animal's a little underwhelming uh, on land, um, of course, they're preferred habitat and their adapted uh, lifestyle uh, makes them formidable hunters uh, underwater. Uh, but these are such interesting little snakes. That's so cool. Wow, take a look at that. And this one's a little bit of a smaller one, a little darker, a little more active, nicer looking. Look at the kind of underbelly on this one. I kind of like that a little bit more. But uh, something also really cool, additionally, about these snakes is that they are mildly venomous. Uh, of course, you can see that these are not animals that are inclined to bite uh, humans, and it's likely that that mild venom uh, is specifically for targeting and shutting down the nervous system of their fish prey. So once again, they grab that fish really quickly, and that mild venom can kind of get into the uh, nervous system of those uh, prey items and kind of subdue it quickly so that these animals are able to swallow that fish uh, almost immediately. Uh, and of course, move on to other prey. Uh, but these are such interesting little uh, snakes, and it's so funny to come out to the beautiful country of Thailand and find them just in canals around people's houses. Um, um, of course, they can be found uh, in more natural areas, uh, but they seem to be thriving in these types of areas as long as there's ample habitat and, of course, small fish to prey on, uh, which is super, super neat, super cool. Love these cute little tentacles. <laughs> uh, it's just so much fun here. I can show you with a little more contrast. This guy's really cute. Look at him. Look at that. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, these are such interesting. And here you can see some more of those kind of ventral patterning. I love those little kind of white spots. Look at that, that's gorgeous. And there he goes, writes himself. Oh, you folded your little tentacle down. There you go. Wow. So bizarre, so cool, such an awesome species. Well, we're gonna let these guys get back to doing whatever it is that, they, uh, that they're doing and uh, We'll show you that release here in a little bit, but super awesome, amazing fun, already starting to trip off uh, with a solid start with these awesome little tentacle snakes. Well, we had a great time. I had a great time teaching you about these really cool and unique uh, snakes. Of course, it is time for me to retire and get some much needed R&R. Uh, &R. Uh, because I will be uh, much better off uh, the second that I actually am able to sleep. Uh, so we're going to let these beautiful, 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 beautiful snakes back to their habitat right down here. There we go. Let's see, amazing snakes. So cool. All right. Oh, awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I uh, hope you learned something about these really cool and unique uh, snakes. I hope that uh, I hope that I taught you something new, and I hope that you appreciated uh, what I did teach you. So, my friends, our time has come to an end. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss any future uploads. Uh, join our channel memberships and Patreon uh, to support us and to get behind-the-scenes content. Of course, buy the merch. Um, it does not come as drenched as it is now. Um, Unless you want to pay a lot extra, maybe I can just like dunk it in some uh, sweat and pond water for you if, uh, if that's what you're uh, hoping for from me. But uh, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed everything and uh, I'll see you next time.